Welcome to this video tutorial. We will see how easy it is to gain project governance and define the process rules. Visual Requirements provides a graphical approach to project structure. This is done by means of the block diagrams. Block diagrams are different viewpoints of a project, such as a hardware or software development process or a product breakdown structure. Let's take a look at the system process. Block diagrams represent the different specifications, elements, attributes, and traceability between them. In this example, we can find user requirements, system requirements, or subsystem requirements. Each one of them with the corresponding test cases, like subsystem tests, system tests, or even acceptance tests. We will be able to represent not only the different element types, but also the subtypes we can indicate that the system requirements are composed of software, mechanical and electrical requirements. Apart from that, we will be able to indicate the relationships between the elements. For instance, between user and system requirements, we've got a satisfied by relationship. Whereas between system requirements and system tests, we've got a validated by relationship type. All this representation is completely user-definable. Uh, you can adapt it to your own process needs or the changes in the process. Let's imagine that we've got a software design element type deriving from the software requirements. We can simply create the software design block and trace it by our satisfied by relationship to the software requirements. These diagrams are not only an easy way to share with the project members the project structure without the need of sending a PowerPoint or Word file, but also an easy way to navigate through the different specifications and to the different elements. We can simply select an element type, activate that block, and we will be taken automatically to those elements. In this case, we are visualizing subsystem requirements along with the different subtypes. Once in the specification, end users will only be able to establish the allowed relationships. In this case, software requirements as a part of the subsystem requirements could only be traced upstream to system requirements or directly to subsystem test cases. Let's select a subsystem test case. Establishing it is an easy task. And we will see that the link type along with the relationship direction is predefined. Users will not be able to establish it in any other way than the defined one. Going back to the block diagram, we will also be able to navigate through the different relationship types. If we select the relationship between subsystem requirements and test cases, we will go directly to a traceability matrix representing different relationships between them. In the rows, the subsystem requirements, and the column, the subsystem tests. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you have any feedback, please get in contact with us through info at visualsolutions.com.